Hey guys, my name is Jamie Duvall, and I'm going to be telling you the story of the three little pigs, but told from the wolf's point of view, um, based upon John Cheska's book, The True Story of the Three Little Pigs. I hope you enjoy. Well, my name is Alexander T. Wolf, and I bet you're thinking that you know the true story of the three little pigs, but I guarantee you don't really know the story, because nobody has ever asked me my side of the story. So here it goes. I was trying to bake a birthday cake for my dear old granny. I was kind of sick that day, but I still knew I needed to bake her a cake. It just so happened that I ran out of sugar, so I decided to go to my neighbor's house. Now this neighbor just happened to be a pig, and he just happened to have a house built of straw. And when I knocked on that door, the door may have collapsed. And that hay just started getting in my nose, and achoo! Before I knew it, I was having one of my sneezing attacks. Achoo! I was huffing and puffing, and by the time I finished, that house had kind of collapsed. In the middle of that pile of straw, there just happened to be a little curly cube pig's butt. And what can I say? I'm not a vegetarian, so I wasn't just going to leave that pig there to rot. So I ate them. Well, I was feeling a little bit better after that meal, so I decided to go to the next neighbor's house, which just happened to be the brother of the first pig. Well, this guy was a little bit smarter, but I can't say much smarter. He had built his house out of sticks. And when I knocked on that door, luckily it stayed up. But you know what that little pig said to me? Hey, get out of here, wolf. I'm trying to shave the, chin, the hairs on my chinny chin chin. Well, he thought he was kind of rude, but I figured, all right, he's busy. I'm not going to bother him. And then, choo! Apparently, there was still some hay stuck on my shirt, and I kept achoo! sneezing and huffing and puffing. And before I knew it, that house had collapsed as well. Now, I know what you're thinking. Hmm, two dead pigs? Really? Well, it was true. There were two dead pigs. And I was full, but I couldn't just let that pig sit there. I mean, it was a perfectly good ham dinner, and I was kind of still just a little bit hungry. I mean, and so I decided to eat him. And then I continued on my way because I was feeling really good. And I just happened to stumble upon this brick house. And he happened to be the brains of the pig family. This was the third brother. And when I knocked on his door, do you know how he responded? Get out of here, wolf! Don't bother me again! That was really rude. I was just trying to borrow a cup of sugar for my granny's cake. I mean, is it that hard? Well, I went to leave, and I thought, I guess maybe I'll just make a birthday card instead of a cake. I guess it wasn't meant to be this cake. But when I turned to leave, my nose started itching again. Achoo! And achoo! And do you know what that rude little porker said to me? And your old granny can sit on a pin! Well, there's only so much a wolf can take. And I'm usually pretty calm, but when somebody talks about my granny like that, I feel a little bit crazy. So, I started beating on that door. And by the time the police came, I was huffing and puffing and screaming and scratching and trying to kick my way into that door. And the rest, they say, is history. The reporters didn't think it was such a good story about a wolf trying to get some sugar to bake a cake for his granny. So they made up everything. They said I was huffing and puffing and knocking everybody's houses down on purpose and that I was eating everybody. That's not really what happened. And now you know the truth. So you decide who you believe. <laughs>